Hello, Maverick fans. Welcome to a special mini episode of the Mav Podcast. It's just me here today, but going to give you uh, an update uh, on that uh, October 5th uh, exhibition that UNO just had against Wisconsin. We're going to have some uh, game highlights uh, and clips from that. And then we're going to take a look at the upcoming trip to Las Vegas, Nevada for the Icebreaker Tournament. Should be uh, an exciting little mini episode, but first off, of course, we'd like to thank our founding members of MapPuck.com this season. Uh, the founding member level was a special promotion that ran from April 1st through October 1st. Uh, so thank you to the 80 plus people uh, who ended up joining that level. And as I'm talking here, you're seeing their names scroll on the screen. Uh, we really appreciate their support. Uh, now the founding member level has expired, but uh, in its place, we've introduced the new team member level for mavpuck.com. And the team member level is $18 per year. So it's $1.50 per month. So your one-time payment of $18 gets you weekly emails with series previews, links to our latest content throughout the season, and ticket and giveaway reminders. You also, of course, get supporter credits on the Mav Puck cast. Now, the funding allows us to produce extra content during the season. We profiled the new players on our season premiere. Uh, Bridget covers the weekly uh, press conferences for MavPuck.com, and we have special episodes throughout the season. So, this season already, we had uh, Bridget's uh, terrific interview with NCHC Commissioner Heather Weems. If you'd like to become a team member of MavPuck.com, be sure to visit MavPuck.com forward slash join for more information. And we really appreciate and thank you for your support. All right, turning to that exhibition against Wisconsin on October 5th, Badgers come to town led by Mike Hastings. As many uh, hockey aficionados in Omaha know, Mike Hastings was the uh, former uh, head coach and general manager of the Omaha Lancers, and he also had a brief stint as an assistant uh, at UNO under head coach Dean Blaze. Mike Hastings has had a terrific collegiate career. He really turned around the Minnesota State Mankato program and now he's moved on to Wisconsin and hoping to bring the Badgers back to their previous glory. So some fun festivities uh, before that uh, Wisconsin exhibition. Uh, former coach Mike Kemp was honored before the game. The ice sheet is being named for him. So the ice sheet at Baxter Arena is now referred to as Kemp Ice. It says Kemp Ice uh, around the face-off circle in the middle, and it has his signature. It's an interesting tradition with the signatures on the ice uh, that UNO started. Uh, when the arena opened, Don Leahy's signature was on the ice. It remains... Uh, for those who don't know, Don Leahy was the athletic director at UNO who created and formed UNO Hockey uh, back in 1996. So uh, he was a very nice man. When Bridget and I were on the uh, Blue Line Club Board of Directors, we got to uh, interact with him uh, frequently and uh, wonderful man. So really glad that he brought uh, UNO Hockey here. And certainly it was a great honor for Coach Kemp. I know we'll continue to see him even though he uh, retired earlier this year. Uh, from UNO Athletics. So turning to the first period of uh, that Wisconsin uh, exhibition, scoreless throughout the first period, uh, Wisconsin did have a five on three power play opportunity. They weren't able to convert. So zero, zero going into the second. Uh, 553 into the second, UNO junior forward Tyler Rollwagon puts the Mavs up one to nothing. Assists to uh, Harrison Israels, who transferred in from Alaska Fairbanks uh, during the off season. Uh, it was a backdoor goal for Tyler. I gotta tell you, I really commend the patience of Israels on that play. He didn't pass it off too soon. The timing was just right. Great goal for Tyler Rollwagon to put the Mavs up one to nothing. And as most of you know, after UNO scores its first goal at Baxter Arena, the fish is tossed and the Mav Boney comes out to pick it up. A great tradition. There was a bit of a snafu with the Mav Boney. It did not get uh, out of the uh, Zamboni pit to come out on the ice, so they had to send a skater out there uh, to uh, grab the fish from uh, the official. Um, 
I did talk to Greg McVeigh, who is the guy who built the Mad Boney and who typically drives the Mad Boney. He is a Husker season ticket holder, so he was enjoying the Rutgers game on Saturday night. And the normal substitute, Tom Dean, was also unavailable on Saturday night. So it went to the third substitute. That person was not able to get the Mad Boney uh, up and running to go out and pick up the fish. So I will say this. We definitely missed uh, the Mad Boney uh, pickup uh, of the fish uh, after that first goal. So we hope Greg's back soon and we hope uh, we hope uh, we see uh, the Mad Boney out on the ice going forward because it's one of the great traditions that UNO hockey has. In the closing moments of the second, Roll Wagon puts UNO up two to nothing on a five on three power play. Assists to Dylan Gratton and Jacob Gavin. Uh, look, Tyler Roll Wagon was rolling at that point, and uh, I was hoping he would net a third uh, to get the hat trick uh, during the exhibition. Turning to the third period, and I should note that about midway through the game, both teams swapped out their starting goaltenders for the backup goaltender. So Simon Lacozzi did terrifically in net uh, during the first period and a half or so for UNO, but it was exciting to see uh, freshman Kevin Radler in net for the Mavs. Big, tall goaltender, really talented-looking prospect coming in this season. Uh, he's from Sweden. Uh, he had some good saves, too. Uh, the officials pretty much uh, swallowed their whistles during that uh, third period at uh, Baxter Arena, and there were some moments where it felt a little bit questionable, like they should have blown the whistle and sent somebody to the box, uh, but they didn't. Hey, it's an exhibition. I guess they wanted to let the guys play. Uh, Wisconsin forward Tyler Dick narrowed the lead to 2-1, to 239 into that third period. It really changed the complexion of the game. And then 12.39 into the third period, Daniel Losh ties it up for the Badgers. He fired that thing in from the point. The game was tied after regulation, so it goes to the three-on-three -three overtime. Terrific opportunity uh, for Coach Gabinet and his team uh, to get an overtime in uh, before the regular season starts. And again, when we look at these exhibitions, it's all about trying out different line combinations, getting your team some real game experience. And so uh, you look at these uh, moments as a learning experience. I thought UNO moved the puck around really well during that overtime period, and they had some terrific opportunities in their offensive zone. Uh, Bremer had a great A chance uh, off of a pass from Jimmy Glenn. Harrison Israels and Chase LaPinta both had uh, good opportunities uh, during that uh, overtime frame. But 341 into overtime, Wisconsin's Quinn Finley gets the game winner. It was a uh, came off of a turnover uh, that UNO had in their offensive zone. Uh, just an unfortunate set of circumstances, but when you're playing three on three, there's lots of open ice to maneuver. And uh, that's what Wisconsin did. And uh, they ended up winning the exhibition 3-2. Uh, to two. Certainly not the outcome you'd like to have as a fan uh, during that uh, exhibition game. But I think there were a lot of positives uh, and a lot of things to build on going into the regular season. And speaking of the regular season, UNO gets its first game action of the regular season on the road in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Icebreaker Tournament. Four teams are participating, Omaha, UMass, Air Force, and Minnesota. And I know fans are, are hoping things uh, shake out uh, in the uh, first day of games so that we get a chance uh, to take on the uh, Minnesota Golden Gophers, who was the team that we lost to uh, in the NCAA Regional last season. Uh, Minnesota playing great the last few years under head coach Bob Motzko. So uh, that would be a great opportunity, but we don't want to get ahead of ourselves here. UNO is going to have uh, all it can handle against uh, UMass uh, in that game on the 11th, that first game uh, of the icebreaker. They will play at 4 p.m. Pacific time. That's 6 p.m. Omaha time. Now, a number of fans have asked if there's going to be TV coverage of this. And as far as we know, there is no TV coverage uh, of the icebreaker. So if you're in Omaha and you want to be able to uh, uh, follow and uh, 
uh, keep uh, keep track of what's going on in the game, you're going to have to listen on uh, 1290 Coil, which is the uh, radio station that broadcasts UNO hockey games, or you're going to have to listen uh, to the games on the Varsity Network app. But looking at UMass, they are led by Coach Greg Carvel, a very talented head coach. He is 150, 119, and 20 in nine seasons with the Minutemen, and he really has turned around that program. Uh, Carvel led the team to the national championship in the 2020-2021 season. They were runner-up in the 2018-19 season, so lots of good things. He's gotten a lot of uh, talented recruits uh, to come out uh, to come out to UMass for that team, uh, and they've been a solid performer out uh, in Hockey East. Uh, players to watch for the Minutemen, forward Jack Musa, who was second on the team last season in scoring. He had 12 goals and 17 assists last season. He already has a goal for this season for UMass. Uh, he scored a goal uh, in that game against Bentley. His brother, Joey Musa, transferred in from Dartmouth. Uh, so it'll be interesting to watch that dynamic there and see if uh, those two are out there on the ice together. On defense, keep an eye on defenseman Lucas Olstad, who transferred in from Denver during the offseason. He had six assists for the Pioneers last season. It's going to be interesting to see uh, how he meshes uh, with this uh, UMass lineup. And in net, they have a Czech goaltender named Michael Robble. He had a 2.59 goals against average and a .912 save percentage last season uh, for the Minutemen. Uh, he is a draft pick of the Utah Hockey Club, so should be a, an exciting matchup. A great first test for UNO uh, this season uh, out there at the Icebreaker Tournament, and it'll be interesting to see uh, who they end up playing in the Saturday game out there, but I know a number uh, of UNO fans are going to be traveling uh, out for the icebreaker, so it's going to be exciting to see all of you in Vegas this upcoming weekend, and uh, it's always fun to travel to these destination uh, tournaments. I remember in years past uh, going to events like the Badger Showdown and the Denver Cup, and it's kind of a fun uh, fun opportunity to get uh, to see UNO play some teams it doesn't normally get to play. So should be a lot of fun and should be a great time for fans. As I mentioned before, if you're interested, uh, interested in following the game action, uh, there is no TV coverage. So be sure to listen uh, here in Omaha on 1290 Coil or listen online on the Varsity Network app. Be sure to follow us on all of our social channels, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can find links to all of our social channels at mavpuck.com. But until next time, go Mavs!